He's not getting out. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. The canary says he'll sing. Go, go, go. But only if I guarantee you walk. So this is the second mission of the traffic series. I think there are like four of them in total. So, obviously that bro whose brain is paved on the cement is dead. So, no big deal. No big deal. You know the way. You can drive. Come on, guy. Get here. There he is. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. You... Anna Rodriguez might take time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the barn into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> That's Shannon so, Perry. We'll That's a porn star name if I ever heard right one. Now we're gonna take a look around. Anyways, so first thing we gotta do, we're gonna talk to the coroner. Phelps? Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. <laughs> Let's play with dead bodies. Head. I don't know if you can hear that crack. Up and down. <laughs> Alright. The only thing we really need from him. There's is this insurance policy right here. Sixteen G's. Patterson has life insurance. Actually, I think he has a wallet too. Other pocket. There's usually always something in the pockets. Nemo. We can notify next of kin. Couple bucks. Not a big deal. Kind of broke as a joke right there. In Canada, money is colored. Oh, this green shit. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. So we've got the coroner support now, and there's one more clue left. You can examine the blood splatters too, but it's not an actual clue. Last clue, always check your dumpsters. Zoom in. Knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. I don't know why I had to zoom up there to uh, expect there's a bloody knife. I'm pretty sure I could have seen it right there, but let's progress. It's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Eyewitness report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I uh, came to the window because I heard people nice arguing. Nice southern accent on this lady. True. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. 
What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Straight eyed. Truth. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Last one. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Wait for it. Shifty eyes. Doubt. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get oh my, my God. picture in the paper. <clears throat> Trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Three out of three. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. I love southern accents. The solar fire. got away with the dames, Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You All right, the so rest. here's the next newspaper. One of 13 that you need to collect in the game. Um, I'm not going to watch it because I already have. So it's time to interview the bartender. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna Mrs. Patterson home. <clears throat> What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. <laughs> You're lying out your teeth. <laughs> Doubt. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. That's true, and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or... He was. Uh, I like the, the way you look. Truth. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Argument overheard. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Man, this guy's so sketchy with his <laughs> with his pedo mustache. <laughs> Doubt. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. The owner. Joint this venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. A little smirk. That Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Muy sure, bueno. No problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Time to Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Hold on, use the phone. There you go. Operator, give me dispatch. 1247. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? 
I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get the son of a bitch. Watch this. I don't come down to the station house. Walk over the blood stain. All right, let me partner drive. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Uh, I think we're going to go to the Shelton residence first. Is a stakeout. Looks like he's going somewhere. Nice car. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. You gotta get used to this if you're playing this game. There's a lot of car chases and foot chases and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh. Gotta make sure you minimize what you hit because you hit things then, or damage your car, you lose money for it. Even more so if you hit pedestrians. <laughs> so there's one or two ways to get it down. You can either take him down in the car, or... Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Let's see. No, no! If you don't make it in the car scene, he gets on foot and then he runs away, then you just catch him there. But I'm gonna see if I can actually... No wonder he killed someone driving like Catch him this. before he uh, actually gets out of the car. Oh, Enough Jesus. Oh, no, I hit someone. <laughs> Come on, get out of the car. Don't let that asshole get Your partner away. can also shoot the tires of the car, but he, he has, like, terrible aims. Like, I aim up like a blind man, so I just worry about it. Come on, did I get him? Oh, no. Jesus. Come on. Huh? Oh, no, no, duck! <laughs> I missed. I'm not gonna catch him. Jesus. I think it's gonna have to be a foot chase. He's heading into the station. Go on, get after him. Get him. Get out of the car. I didn't catch him the very first time either. Hold it right there, Shelton. I caught him at this scene right here. It was a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done Almost here. as bad as AIDS driving. GA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. You should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. All right. Says that's nation. Part of the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Let's talk to the wifey poo. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. Husband's dead. That's pretty unusual Peace. behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got there. 
maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. She looks Come like in, a bitch. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. <laughs> you don't appear to be too upset about this. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. And I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one bias again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friend. Air quotation friends. Don't expect me to believe that. Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Hit and run incident. How did the car come to hit Lester? <laughs> he walked straight into the Her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to believe that, Laura. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. The poor guy had no chance. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Doubt again. Admit it. You were baiting pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the hungrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to Yeah, whoring out your wife would uh, piss her off. <laughs> I guess. I guess. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Lie, insurance. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Insurance letter plocks. You increase the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> Oh, they use their phone. Must use phone, please. Where's this lady keep her phone? Oh, there it is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Detective. 
Messages, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thank you. Let's go visit House. Or the doctor. Kind of looks like House. It would have been sweet if they got, would have got House to play the coroner. That would have been awesome. Hugh Laurie. Love that show. Central Moor, please. It's like my own taxi service. Whoops. My bad. Must. I guess I didn't hold triangle long enough. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So we're at the morgue now. Dead bodies on the table. No big dealio. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Let's do it. Where's my car? You're behind the wheel. All right. Where to? Bag this bitch. We've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, <laughs> Leroy. Leroy! You don't stand a chance in front of the grand Give me up, sweetheart. All oh, that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all oh, the money we could claim, all oh, that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up! Face is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with think it. I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake! Yeah, she deserved it. <laughs> it's too late, Sabo. Gotcha. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. If you don't catch him in time, there's like a he takes like a hostage at the end, and you have to like shoot between him and the hostage. But uh, I played this already, so I know. Take him out early. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you. I like that. Keep up the good work. And yeah, kind of destroyed the vehicle. <laughs> Some city damage. Hey, it didn't hit anyone though. I definitely thought I hit someone. 
But five stars, not too bad. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.